Hey, how's it going everyone? It's Lee Halliday, and today I've got a video that will show how to use Apollo GraphQL to make RESTful API requests. What? Yes, it's true. Your endpoint doesn't have to be a GraphQL API to be able to interact with it um, using GraphQL. So let's see how that will work. Um, so I've got this little app here, React app, that is showing some of the uh, repositories that I've starred in GitHub. Now GitHub provides a GraphQL API, so this is all just using normal GraphQL requests. But let's say I wanted to, maybe up right here in the corner, show the status of GitHub. Um, I don't believe that's available in the GraphQL API, but they do provide a RESTful endpoint you can hit. So what I've done, because I ran into some, uh, some cores issues, is I just built a little proxy endpoint that will basically go and communicate with GitHub and pull down some JSON that says what the status is of GitHub and the last time it was updated. So what I want to do is basically interact with this endpoint, which is a RESTful endpoint, within the React code that I have, and I want to do it using the Apollo client and GraphQL. So let's see how that will work. The first thing what we need to do is add um, Apollo link rest. So if you don't know what links are, I have another video. Check out my uh, my React and GraphQL um, playlist on um, on YouTube, where I show how uh, links work and how to configure the Apollo client. Because you're going to need to be able to to do that to use Apollo link rest. So let's just start this again. So I come into my React code, and here is where I've got all of the work done to set up my Apollo client. And if it seems overwhelming, um, I have another video, as I mentioned, that goes over sort of what each of these do with the, um, except for Apollo link state, which uh, I plan to record after this one. So what you want to do is basically, if you come down to the bottom, you've got your Apollo client, which is made up of a number of links that sort of can take over processing your GraphQL request. Um, it's like a, a series of chaining calls or middleware. So it, it starts from error link, goes here, goes here. If you're doing a normal GraphQL request, it hits the end, which terminates and goes back through and it, we can handle errors and modify the headers and whatnot. So what we want to do is stick in here a new link, which will be our REST link. And that allows us to interact with our RESTful API. So let's come in here and let's import REST link from Apollo uh, link REST. I believe, hit type. Cool. So we'll grab that and we'll come down here and we'll just put it, uh, we'll put it before our auth link. And we'll say here that we want a new REST link and we need to pass it some options. So the only option that you're required to pass, um, if you provide nothing else, is which URI it's going to interact with. So we'll just grab this one here, and we'll come in and say, here's the URI that we want you to talk with. So now I take the REST link and I put it into this Apollo link from array. And now we have the ability to intercept uh, certain GraphQL queries that are meant to hit this RESTful endpoint and deal with it that way instead. So let's see how that would work. Let's come into our app and let's say that when we've got a token, meaning we can interact with the, uh, with the GitHub GraphQL API, we want to import fragment and wrap a fragment around that. Okay, so start repositories is the component that basically, uh, this one, start repos performs this query that displays all of this information here. So no need to look at that today, but what we wanna do is before this, let's just put, um, another component that does not exist yet. We're going to create it called status. So let's import it. 
It's going to not give us any uh, hints because it doesn't exist yet, but let's go create that. So we have our status component. And in here, we need to import React from React. We need to import GQL from uh, GraphQL tag because we are going to be writing a GraphQL query to interact with the RESTful endpoint. And we need to import the query component from React Apollo so that we can embed that inside of React. So let's say we want to export a default function called status, which will return uh, the query that we're about to perform. So we'll say query here, and we need to provide it with the query to perform. So let's write that here. So we are going to define a status query, which uses GraphQL to construct the uh, GraphQL query. And in here, we always start with query, and then we give a name to our query. So this doesn't matter in terms of uh, the, whoever you're talking to doesn't care about this. This is the client side name you're giving it. So we'll just call it, same thing, the status query. So in here is where you'll start to write code that will use the new RESTful link. So what we do is we want to grab the status. So let's just say status. And here's a directive we have to provide so that it knows that we don't want to perform a typical GraphQL query, but we want to talk with our RESTful endpoint. So we say at rest, and then we can provide some different parameters or arguments here. So what we want to say is we want to tell it which path to, uh, to reach out to, because it could be something, say on the server it was path status or something, here's where you could define that. And we also have to provide a type. And this can be anything you want to call it, but you need to provide this because Apollo uses this as it normalizes the data and stores it in the uh, cache, which in our case is the in-memory cache we need to provide this here. Otherwise it doesn't know how to, where to store the data and it will give you an error. So this name doesn't really matter so much here. What matters is the field we want to access on the result of this request. So if you look at our endpoint here, it responds with JSON that has a key of status with a value of good. So basically you want to access these here are the ones you have available. So it seems like I'm typing status a lot, but that's because I'm now accessing this property here from the RESTful endpoints response. So I come down here and I'll give this query to the query component. Oh, there we go. All right, now I need to deal with the response. So I'm going to embed and I receive, um, we'll do an arrow function. And this arrow function receives uh, the data and will also deal with the loading state. So if it's loading, we'll just return a span that says loading. Otherwise we can return a span that contains the status re uh, returned by our endpoint. So we can say data.status and then dot status again to access the field. Just like that. So if we come back here, it's working. We can see that it says good, which is the response from this RESTful endpoint. So what we've done is we've performed a GraphQL query and Apollo intersect um, intercepts that query because we've provided the REST directive and it uses the REST link to basically capture that request. As it's going along through the links, it gets captured here at the REST link so it never reaches the auth link or the HTTP link. REST link terminates and performs the, the operation and then it, uh, you get the response. Okay. So let's just put it up in the top right where I said I would put it. So we're going to import styled from styled components. And we'll just call this the uh, status label. 
which will be a styled span. And we'll just say position absolute, top is five pixels, right is five pixels. There we go. So now it's up here. And if I refresh, see, it's hard to see, but it says loading for a second as it's performing the, uh, the HTTP request. And I can actually come in here and look, I've already filtered it out to show the Heroku one that it's making the request to this endpoint, like so. All right, so what would you do if you didn't just have a single RESTful endpoint, but you had various that you needed to interact with? Um, Apollo provides a way to deal with that. And basically you come back here to where we defined the REST link. And instead of just giving like a default URI, we can provide something called endpoints, which will be an object. And we'll give a key to each of the different endpoints we have. So we'll just call this one GitHub status. And to this object, we need to pass what the URI is for the GitHub status endpoint. And if I come back here, what you're going to see is a big fat error. And that's because if I go to the console, so REST link is configured without a default URI. And that means all REST directives must provide an endpoint key because if you don't have a default one, Apollo doesn't know which endpoint you want to interact with. So we just simply come back to our query here and we add a comma and then we can say that we want the endpoint GitHub status like that. So I come back and now it's working again. So now I could set up various RESTful endpoints and I can interact with them like that. So that is how you take your Apollo client you add a REST link to the Apollo link chain or array, and that allows you to perform GraphQL queries to interact with a RESTful endpoint. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day. Bye.